Ladies and gentlemen, my wife and I. Come on. <laughs> my wife and I would like to thank you very much for being here today. After the last. <laughs> well, on any day, this would be tremendously special, but after the last 18 months or so, it really is the best feeling in the world. Seven years, seven years to the very moment since I was stood at that bar in the very back of the room when a rather stunning, slightly tipsy girl <laughs> came over, shook my hand and asked for my name. Little did I know how that very moment was the start of the rest of my life and a whirlwind journey that would lead us all the way back here to get married. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. We've got people from all over. Chester. Yay! North Wales. Yay! Mid Wales. Ladbrook Grove. <laughs> Cricklewood. Queen's Park. Yay! Yeah, West London is literally deserted right now. <laughs> I know this place hasn't been the easiest or the cheapest place to get to, so thank you very much for the effort made there. It's obviously the first time that many of you have met. Jessica's mum meet my dad, dad meet Jessica's dad, grandma meet Jessica's grandma and my mum, cousins meet cousins, friend meets friends, I'm Neil and Adam. I'll point out the single Filipino ladies to you later. <laughs> now we'll come on to this lovely lady more in a few moments, but there's an awful lot of thank yous I need to get through first, so bear with me. Jessica's mum, Jackie, I'll never forget how you picked me up from Queen's Park Station on my first trip down to London to help me meet um, Jessica. For some reason, you literally let a complete stranger into your house, but I'm very glad you did. <laughs> and as if that wasn't crazy enough, you then welcomed me in for an entire year whilst I was working on an internship. So me and my bank account are very grateful. <laughs> Jessica's dad, Oliver, I'll never forget the moment that I called to ask for your blessing to marry Jessica and the sweet, sweet taste of your calderetta, <laughs> sopas and obligatory cans of Fosters. <laughs> Everything I love about Jessica is stored in your deep-rooted values of respect, love and care for those around you. I see you at your happiest when you're with your two amazing daughters. And I wanted to let you know that you haven't really given away Jessica today. Like, we ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Mainly because we want your John Lewis discount to decorate our house. <laughs> uh, mum and dad, my mum and dad, you gave me a childhood that most can only ever dream of. It's difficult to put into words how much you mean to me. You're my rock of support and have always been there for both me and Jessica. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> Dad, you said it would be the best day of my life. And then Italy won on penalties. <laughs> oh, can you imagine getting married and football coming home in the same year? <laughs> but at least one of those things has ticked off the list now, eh? <laughs> Mum particularly has always been a bit of a worry, you know. On that first trip down to London, it happened to coincide with a checkup at the doctor's for Jessica. I sent Mum a quick message to let her know about this, and then she then proceeded to leave me about 17 missed calls, <laughs> thinking that I'd passed out on the train and was in need of immediate medical attention. <laughs> so thank you very much for letting me out your sight since then again, Mum. Now, Nelson, who obviously isn't here today, um, yeah, I mean, for those of you who aren't already aware, Nelson has some prior engagements chatting up some fit Aussie birds <laughs> on Bondi Beach this afternoon, but sends his regards anyway. Jokes aside, Nelson is my best man, not only today, but literally since the age of three. From nursery all the way to university and everything in between, He's that mate that you only ever get one of. 
The only problem with Nelson is that he is a complete pathological liar. So I just wanted to let you know that before I pass the virtual mic over in just a second. Uh, my groomsmen, Ashley, Neil, and Adam. You got me home from the stag do in one piece, so massive respect for that. And you scrub up pretty well, to be fair, lads. <laughs> There's far too many sh shenanigans from Sheffield nightclubs to dive in, divulge into right now, but we've had some fantastic times together. Pick up you boys for the effort made in the run-up to this wedding. It really means a lot. <laughs> and to our beautiful bridesmaids and sisters, you look absolutely incredible today. And thank you so much for taking care of Jessica in the run-up to today, too. Special shout out to Olivia. And this is weird because I don't normally like to be that nice to you. <laughs> and FYI, I will be hiding your phone on one of the canal boats outside later. So make sure you have your Apple Watch on. <laughs> but thanks a million for being the best sister. Uh, and it really means a lot to see you and Jessica got, get so close. <laughs> Now, sadly, there are some people who can't be here today, not physically anyway. So to my grandpa, my nan and granddad, Jessica's Uncle June and Uncle Dan, I know you hear us, I know you hear us, um, and are with me when I say thank you for everything. So ladies and gentlemen, please raise a glass to them. Uh, and finally, with no offence to anyone else in the room, to the most important person here today. Gorgeous, sexy, funny. He didn't want me to tell you, but Adam couldn't stop complimenting me earlier. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Jessica, I could not ask for a better wife. Even if I could, you'd kill me. <laughs> And you know, you've done a really good job with this wedding. Like, I was impressed when I got here this morning. <laughs> the decorations, music, running order, all spot on if you ask me. Choice of groom is slightly more questionable, but we're talking minor details now. But you're beautiful, incredibly kind, selfless, ridiculously feisty, and you keep me on my toes every single day. We're so silly together, all of the time, whether it, be ch whether it be chasing me through the house with a ping pong bat and ball, <laughs> pulling down my shorts when I'm doing the dishes, <laughs> calling each other Larry for no reason whatsoever, and randomly breaking out into a dance along the lines of, oh, you can really dance. <laughs> my heart is full, and I can't wait to live the rest of our lives together. You are everything to me, and I fall more in love with you every single day. That's all from me, folks. Thank you.